Hey guys, today we're gonna be unboxing an industrial 3D scanner called the EinScan Pro 2X Plus. Now this is one of the best and most affordable scanners we've found in the last two years for metrology, for part validation, for reverse engineering. Uh, it's very, very cool, high quality scanner uh, and it'll do much better than a lot of those one $200 solutions or the cell phone apps that are out now. Uh, we've played around with all those and they just don't work that great. Uh, especially not when you need to get down to 50 or 20 microns. So today we've got the industrial pack, the red pack, that's the reverse engineering and design pack from Shining 3D from the EinScan Pro 2X Plus. So when you get the box, you're gonna get a big box and it's gonna have these two boxes in it. We've got the basic pack and the industrial pack. So we'll have more videos coming out very soon on how to use it for part validation, for reverse engineering, and all kinds of different stuff, and, and along with how to completely set it up. Today, we're gonna go over the unboxing and show you exactly what's coming in the box. So, let's do it. Let's open this puppy up. This is the basic pack. So this is what you would get if you didn't get the industrial pack. If you just get the scanner, then this should be everything you receive. And why are we doing this? Because it's better than using one of these all the time. It's not necessarily better, it's just more accurate more of the time, it's less work, you can be more sure of your work. Very cool stuff. So, on the top, looks like we've got a letter. Dear customers, thank you for selecting the EinScan Reverse Engineering Design Bundle, a powerful solution to start from 3D scan to data processing and modeling, and then bring it into a CAD environment, and from there, 3D print it. So this bundle includes the EinScan Pro 2X Plus, Geomagic Essentials, Solid and Solid Edge, the Shining 3D Edition. Uh, so that's some software that comes along with it to let you do the different functions. All right, got some activation codes, some activation stuff, some instructions for setting up the software. We'll go ahead and set that to the side. All right, so in the first box, what do we have? Let's see, looks like we've got a power cable, it's denoted by that little icon there. And it also comes with this little thing that says Solid Edge on it, which has a USB drive with a QR code on it. So this has got the software you need to use the scanner. And then, of course, you got the big shiny box. Woo, Woo baby, all right, this is looking nice. Take this out of the plastic. Very cool, this is a very high quality box, got a nice handle in there. I uh, would assume you can use this to transport it around if you need to go to a client's location and do a scan. Uh, you'd also have to take a, a computer that's powerful enough, which um, a lot of the mid-range to high-end range laptops out there these days can actually run this. Uh, you do wanna make sure you have the best graphics card you can get, because it is more GPU intensive than CPU. Uh, so if you got a good graphics card, you want to use it. All right, cool. We got some uh, we got some velvet on top. We got a letter or something in here. Handheld scanner standing version standard version packing list. So we got the scanner body, USB drive, power adapter, power cable, calibration board, calibration board support, markers, phone screen mount, cable clip, marker remover, and module port cap lifter. All right, we got this really big flat thing covered in a nice felt or a, what do you call this? It's like a Velvet, it's a nice velvet thing. I'm guessing this is the calibration card. Yeah, here we go. Cool, okay, so this you're gonna use to give the scanner depth and give it sort of a sense and orientation of where it is. It is a piece of glass with vinyl on both sides, so it is very stiff. It, it should not bend or warp or anything like that. And they give you a nice little case to protect it in. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there. All right, underneath that, we have really nice foam cutouts. This is high quality foam. I like seeing that. Uh, I come from a, did a lot of packaging back in the day, so I dig it. Uh, we got this little cardboard box. Looks like that's got the power cable to the scanner. And then we've got another USB drive. I'll do some more software on it. It says EinScan PEE 2PA JO4. Bunch of numbers. Cool. All right, got right there. Oh yeah, here we go. 
We have a stand. This is gonna be used for the scanner. And then we've got, do this other little box. What do we have? Phone mount for screen stream mirroring. All right, stream stream mirroring. I wonder what's that, what this is for. It's a little, it's a phone mount. Oh. For screen stream mirroring. I don't, I don't know, but this is pretty cool. It's like a rubber, it's a thick rubber mount. It almost looks like it would go on a tripod and then on something else. Uh, looks like down here we've got some kind of part scraper and a little thing for that to clip into. A little mount, a little scraper of some kind. And then we've got the scanner itself. So you can see it's in there. Everything is packaged very nicely, very tight. We've got this long cable that plugs into the computer and into power. This looks like it belongs in an arcade game at the local skating rink when I was uh, 12 years old. <laughs> Area 51, anybody play that? Oh my God, bringing the aliens on, baby. All right. So this is the scanner itself. Now this is not a laser scanner, it is an optical scanner. It also uses structured light um, and some other sensors to, to get the scan data. Uh, the laser systems are going more into the 50, 60, 70 plus thousands of dollars. This is only 10 Gs for this whole package. So this is like 8,500, 8,600 for just the scanner, uh, which is a great deal compared to other systems with similar specifications. So one of the things about this is that you can actually freehand scan objects. There's a lot of printers out there, where you, or a lot of scanners out there, where you have to use a turntable, or you have to do all kinds of stuff and put it on a tripod. Uh, but this, I could actually take it and go, go around the object and get the whole scan in one go. Uh, so that's very good. There's another box under here. Looks like a, ooh, ooh. All right, we have a bunch of dots. All right, so these little dots, you're gonna actually put on objects that are more tricky to scan. Uh, and you won't have to do that for a lot of stuff. And if you're using a turntable, you won't really have to do that at all. Uh, but those are, that's very cool. There's probably thousands of those in the pack. That's sweet, so we've got the scanner, we got the little dots, we got some power cables. Um, looks like, we'll check out this power cable here as well. That is your standard computer cable, which plugs into the transformer that actually plugs into the scanner. Got that. Another SD card and some random objects. Now, that is the contents of the Einscan Pro 2X Plus unboxing. This is the industrial pack. Uh, it's got a few other tools to make your life easier and more consistent. Uh, you can check out pricing on visionminer.com. Uh, these things always change. Bundled in here, we have another power cable and then a big white box. Okay, let me move all this stuff over real quick. This box, what do we got? When we open it up, looks like it's all packaged very nicely and we got some shrink wrap going on to prevent moisture, that's very good. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, look, it's got a zip. It's got a zip bag. This is the biggest Ziploc bag I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. The packing list. We got a turntable. We've got a USB cable, a power cable, a power adapter, a desktop tripod, and a cradle switch stand. So, this is gonna make scanning easier and faster in a lot of cases. Like in our print service, we print a lot of small parts, so we can just set it down on the turntable, hit go, change the orientation, hit go, and our scan will be done. So, starting out, looks like we've got the power cables, power adapter for the turntable. We've got a USB cable. So it's a USB mail to the printer style USB, that big fatter one that used to be around more and still used on printers. Tripod adapter mount. An actual desktop tripod. 
with a Allen key. Pretty sweet. This is a, yeah, looks like you can do it flat. A couple different ways. Uh, I think the Allen key is for these bolts here. This is pretty sweet little tripod thing. Should make it easy to set the scanner wherever you need in relation to the beautiful turntable which we have here. Oh, this is sweet, dude. Just gonna use this for models. We're just gonna put cool models on here and put them on display, have it just rotate now. One of the reasons you don't need to put markers on your parts when you're using the turntable is because the turntable itself has markers on it. So it can orient itself around the part as you're scanning, which is really, really cool and helpful. Makes everything easier. So you plug this into the power and into your computer and it'll work with the scanner and the software and everything to get you what you want. Okay, there we go. Very nice, very nice. We've got the whole pack, we've got the tripod. We got tripod mounts. Let's see if I can figure out how this goes on. It all feels very high quality, especially the scanner. I mean, the tripod is made of metal. It's not like a dinky plastic tripod. It's got some cool adjustments on here. Looks like you can weigh it, weigh it down by hanging with a bag. Looks like it's got some pretty decent size. It is a desktop tripod, so it's not huge. Uh, but that's just perfect for using it in a setup like this. The turntable feels really nice. We've had some other 3D scanners that, uh, well, they just didn't work. Anything, anything we've used under about $7,000 doesn't really work for 3D scanning in our experience. Uh, I'm sure there's new stuff coming out every day, but it's just not up to par. The cell phone apps just don't get you anything accurate. Photogrammetry. It's probably just as accurate as these, but it'll take a lot longer. It's more time intensive. It has, you know, its own challenges. So this pretty straightforward solution that feels good. The scanner itself actually feels really rugged. It's heavy, it's got some heft to it. This is a really nice rubber grip, rubberized. It's got like one, two, three buttons on the back here, probably for focusing or, you know, during the actual scan. Uh, but it feels very high quality. They feel good, they don't feel, it doesn't feel cheap. It's tight, you know, it's solid. I'm stoked, can't wait to use this. Uh, we're gonna use it almost every day in our print service, validate parts, and we're gonna scan some, uh, scan some of our employees here and print out some busts. You know, that's one of the great things about 3D scanning is you can scan yourself and print yourself out. It's freaky, it's interesting, uh, but that's a pretty neat little thing you can do. If you got any questions, uh, put them in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to know anything more about these different parts or why would you get the entire bundle as opposed to just the machine, hit us up on our email, uh, contact at Check out our site. If you want to see more videos on 3D scanning and 3D printing and all this industrial manufacturing stuff, definitely comment down below, hit subscribe, the notification bell, all that. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else. We'll be doing this all day. Have a great rest of your day. See you on the next video.